for April the 24th. The readings for today are Deuteronomy chapters 8 and 9, Ecclesiastes 3 and John chapters 20 and 21. The thought is entitled, You Shall Remember. It is good to have a good memory. It is frustrating to be forgetful. Yet often we forget to be thankful for good things. Do you recall the comments of Jesus when only one of the ten lepers he healed returned to express thanksgiving for his healing? You'll find them in Luke 17, 15 to 17. The book of Deuteronomy should be seen as Moses' final exhortation to the people before he dies. In our reading today, he says, The whole commandment that I command you today, you shall be careful to do, that you may live and multiply, and go in and possess the land that the Lord swore to give to your fathers. And you shall remember the whole way that the Lord your God has led you these forty years in the wilderness, that he might humble you, testing you to know what was in your heart. What kind of remembering are we to do? Each one of us will have different memories. What memories these people of God had at this time? We need to be aware that nearly all the adults in the twelve tribes, except the Levites, who had come out of Egypt, had died in the wilderness because of their unfaithfulness. These had witnessed the miracles of the plagues in Egypt, then the most dramatic of miracles in crossing the Red Sea on dry land, then the physical nearness of God as they camped beside the mountain. Then came the provision of water, the manna and the quail, and still they complained. Because those twenty and over had not developed any depth of faith, they wandered and died in the wilderness because they failed to remember, and in remembering, to take heart all that the Lord their God, the only real God, had done. A lesson for us. Is there anything we fail to remember? What a tremendous picture the history of the world since those days provides. And now we are surely reaching the climax. In John's Gospel we have read of the climax of the life and death of God's Son and the absolute wonder and drama of his resurrection. John's 20th chapter ends... These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Remember, our actions show what we believe. Make the time today to read and meditate on the last two chapters of John's Gospel. They are one of the richest sources of food to stimulate our minds in the whole Bible. Thank you for listening. We hope you'll be back tomorrow, God willing. In the meantime, please take care.